in question number 52 basically we are given a parabola y square barabar 2x and there are two points on it p and q this is a standard parabola p and q are two points on it now we can assume the p and the q parameter as t1 and t2 and p has been specifically told to be in the first quadrant so that's fine we can take its parameter as a t1 square so a's value here is half so a t1 square is equal to t1 square by 2 and 2 a t1 so i can take it as t1 and then you have got here t2 square by 2 and t2 so these are the parameters of the point what it says is if we take p q as diameter and draw a circle then that circle passes through the origin now that implies that this angle is certainly 90 degrees and that would mean that the product of the slope of op and oq is going to be minus 1 so from that if we will find m1 into m2 as minus 1 m1 is the slope of this and m2 is the slope of this then m1 m2 equal to minus 1 will result in t1 into t2 equal to minus 4 further what he says is the area of this particular thing triangle is 3 root 2 so we can definitely apply the areas triangle areas formula one point is origin so we can directly write the area as half x1 y2 minus y1 x2 mod so the area is half mod t1 square t2 by 2 minus t2 square t1 by 2 and this area is given to be equal to 3 root 2 3 root 2 now uh, we have to just simplify this if we can pull out t1 into t2 this is t1 t2 and by 4 so that gets cancelled and we are left with modulus of t1 minus t2 is equal to 3 root 2 so i can say that this is t1 plus 4 by t1 is equal to 3 root 2 as t1 lies in the first quadrant now this is the equation and we can simplify this equation to get t1 as 2 root 2 or root 2 and from there possible coordinates of point p will be 4 2 root 2 or 1 root 2 so i think this question is fairly straightforward and an easy question in question number 53 we are basically provided with a differential equation with the initial condition that y 0 is 2 and the differential equation is 1 plus e power x dy by dx plus y e power x equals to 1 so we can say that this is 1 plus or we can just open up the bracket and just try to adjust exact differential equation here we can say this is dy plus e power x dy plus y e power x dx is equal to dx if you see this carefully this becomes an exact dy plus d of e key power x y equal to dx see that the exact is this e power x dy plus y e power x dx now we just have to integrate it to get the desirable function so if you integrate it this is like y plus e power x into y equals to x plus c to get the value of c we are basically provided with the initial condition y 0 as 2 so in place of x we put 0 and in place of y we put 2 so here you will have 4 as c that means your y is x plus 4 upon e power x plus 1 this is the function now after this function has been asked the option if you see y of minus 4 and y of minus 2 are being given to be 0 so obviously only a is correct b is not correct after that the function asks us about the critical point of this function in the interval minus 1 to 0 and for that what we will have to do is we will have to differentiate this equation to get the critical point so if we differentiate it y dash equals to e power x plus 1 minus x plus 4 into e power x divided by e power x plus 1 square now if we collect e power x then we have got e power x common in the bracket we will be left with minus x minus 3 and then we are left with only plus 1 
डिवाइडेड बाय ई पार एक्स प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर सो बेसिकली वन माइनस एक्स प्लस थ्री इंटू ई पावर एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय द पॉजिटिव डिनोमिनेटर इज व्हाट वी हैव एज द डेरिवेटिव ना द क्रिटिकल पॉइंट मींस द पॉइंट वेयर द फंक्शंस डेरिवेटिव इज जीरो और नॉट डिफाइंड सो यू हैव टू फर्स्ट चेक वेदर इट इज जीरो इन द इंटरवल माइनस वन टू जीरो आई गेस द इंटरवल इज माइनस वन टू या सो इंटरवल दैट इज बींग टॉक्ड इज माइनस वन टू जीरो सो इफ आई टेक इट दिस एज सेपरेट लेट्स ए फंक्शन जी एक्स इक्वल टू वन माइनस एक्स प्लस थ्री इन टू ई पावर एक्स सो आई जस्ट हैव टू चेक वेदर दिस इक्वेशन हैज द रूट इन द इंटरवल माइनस वन टू जीरो सो आई विल जस्ट चेक द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन इन दिस एंड एट द एंड पॉइंट सो जी ऑफ माइनस वन इफ आई रीड जी ऑफ माइनस वन विल कम आउट टू बी नेगेटिव and if i read g is 0 if we read g of minus 1 then this is 1 minus 2 by e so this is positive and if we read g of 0 then g of 0 is minus 2 so that is of course negative that means gx is becoming 0 in the interval minus 1 to 0 and therefore the function will have definitely have the critical point in the interval minus 1 to 0 and therefore the option numbers a and c are the correct option to this question